Hello guys, my name is Armin. Today I want to go back to basics. I want to look at the line tools in SketchUp and introduce you to a new tips and tricks. There is going to be a lot of good tips that I can share with you on how to use the line tool to make your workflow so much easier. So without further ado, let's jump into the SketchUp so we can try the line tool. So there are a few ways to find the tool, uh, the line tool. The first one would be just the default uh, tool set. Um, so if you basically come over here, you can see there's a line and also you have the freehand tool right here on the default. The next location would be the large tool set, which is going to be right here. And the only way if you don't have it, you can kind of right click right here on the toolbar and then you can kind of select the large tool set which comes with all of this the next location that you want to get to is through the draw tab so if i click on the draw tab go to lines you can see there's like a free hand and a line the last way that you can use it if you are into using shortcut keys you can type just l on your keyboard and you'll be able to kind of see that so using a shortcut key L. So let me just do it one more time so you guys can see you kind of turn into the line tool. So this is the different location that you can kind of get to the line tool and you guys will be able to use. So the first thing is you have the line tool that you can kind of use, right? And also you have the free hand tool. So uh, for the hand tool you need to hold and then draw so I have to hold the mouse and basically draw right but for the line tool I don't need to hold it I just click and then right now I'm just moving my mouse so we pick a point you guys instead of holding it you click the left mouse button and then release to pick a point and you can kind of work with that area so you don't have to hold it but for the free hand tool you need to kind of hold the left mouse button and kind of move it and there is another difference between these two that I'm going to show you so the line it's basically an edge so if you draw a line everything is sketch up is a curve line surfaces so everything kind of um, based on the uh, the tool that you use but line is an edge but a freehand tool is if I click on the line is a curve so I show you a curve here if I click on it show a face and basically give you a, a different um, different component or different object to connect and kind of use uh, create that object for you so it's a curve it's a face that you can use it but the line is just an edge um, the next one that I want to share with you is which is really really important when you draw um, try your best to stay with these axes so with the Y with Z and with X so this is help you when you create your object you keep everything in the same plane because sometimes you draw you don't know when you keep drawing if you're not following the same x and y and z you might go to a different plane and when you close one object is not going to create surface because it's not going to be in one plane so make sure you kind of stick to x y and z helps you draw it properly and also give you a great service surface to close it um, the next one that I want to share with you is um, holding the shift button. So if you hold the shift button here, you see kid a little bit thickened. So this is kind of locking. You see, I'm moving my uh, mouse, but it basically locks that line that I'm going to draw on the Y axis. So if I want to go here, if I hold shift, it locks to the X axis and i won't be it won't basically just i'm gonna keep moving it but it's going straight and lock to that uh, x-axis same thing for the z 
if I move it, it basically uh, lock to the Z axis and then it's not gonna move. If I move my hand, you can see right now it keeps moving, but if I hold shift, there you go, it's not gonna move. Um, the other really, really important tip that I wanna share with you that I'm using on daily basis is using the arrow keys. Um, the basically right, left, and the kind of up arrow keys. The reason to use that is sometimes it's kind of hard when you're drawing a different object, you cannot find the axis. Like it's hard to get to the Z or the Y or the X. So arrow keys are the ones that can help you out to find that. So if I'm, I'm just basically right now, just push the right arrow key and automatically constrain the line to X axis. So I, if I do the left, constrained on y-axis and if i do the up it's basically constrain it to z so if you draw an object and you're having a problem finding axes like x y and z just make sure you kind of tap on the arrow key so you can tap on front for x you can tap on the uh, basically left for y and then you can tap uh, on the up arrow key for the z-axis. This is a really, really great tool to help you out to finding those axes and stay in the same plane when you draw. So last tip is draw with precision. So we can go to the line tool. Uh, I'm just kind of clicking um, and then leave um, my hand. And then basically right now you guys can see the mouse. So I'm not holding the um, the left key uh, as we talked so if I want to have let's say you have a dimension because right here it kind of shows the length of the line that you draw right so let's say I want to have 10 feet right so I just type 10 feet and then enter so it basically give you the 10 feet right and I want to go seven feet this way do the same thing going up like um, let's say put another four feet so basically it's just gonna give you as long as you're not hitting escape so you have that continuous line to move and when you kind of get closer you want to start it gives you the end point and this is really helpful and pay attention to this because if you are creating a shape if you're not connecting the lines then it's not going to create a surface for you so you got to make sure when you use the line tool make sure you get close shows the end point and i'm gonna click and then continue from there let's say another eight feet i'm gonna go that way and you know and so on and so forth you can kind of continue doing this right so just make sure you um you're really really using all of these little tips because this adds up when you're working on a big project and it would help you have a more cleaner and more organized object thank you guys for watching today's episode in go back to basic series in sketchup if you like the content please subscribe and leave a like and let me know in a comment section down below if you are using this tool in a different way i would like to put together a video that shows the tips and tricks that you use and we can share it with everyone thank you so much for watching see you in the next video Thank you.